about me, I'm the... Yeah, one thing about her, she was my middle school bully. I found her because TikTok told me that I was in her contact list. I've never had her in my contact list. That explains all the prank calls I got in middle school. One time she told her friend to come over to the school and hit me in the face, and then they both laughed about it afterwards. Okay, guys, this video right here has TikTok in shambles. This girl is putting her middle school bully on blast on TikTok. I follow the T so you don't have to, and oh my god, it only gets worse and worse. This girl's name is Sunset Makeup, and the person that she claims is the bully is Amber Mesner. And she has 1.3 million followers, so this is about to get messy. So get your tea, and get your snacks, and hit that like button. It's got 2.7 million hearts on it. So come on, because this is about to be good. She always made fun of the scars on my wrists and my mental health issues like anxiety and depression. I essentially had a middle school restraining order against her where the principal would stand outside of the school every single day and every time they saw Amber, they would have to kick Amber out and tell her to go home so she wouldn't pick on me. At that same age that Amber was bullying me, she was in an anti-bullying campaign. I think that's very funny because the amount of harassment that I endured from you that has traumatized me for the rest of my life. You have hurt so many people. So like, yeah, I am into the idea of believing all victims. But I've also seen enough that for me to truly believe you, I need some receipts. Post a pic of it saying she's in your contacts. I believe you, but this will help prove it to others. And she responded. Damn, she's in her contacts. She has your number? They asked for receipts and you delivered. I'm sorry you had to go through that. So guys, I go to Amber Mesner's account and she responded to the accusations. Hey, so I'm coming on right now to talk about these false rumors that are going around on TikTok. This person made a video claiming that I bullied them in middle school, which never happened. Like, never. Saying that I made fun of them for doing things that I literally went through in middle school because I was depressed because I was terrorized and literally bullied in middle school. I literally have pictures on my old trap phone from middle school of kids constantly bullying me. They even went to the extent to make up a completely false thing saying that the principal had to have a restriction on me, like watch me at school and stuff like, which I was never in trouble at school. I was always the one getting attacked in school. Like literally, kids would make up things saying I had my, my boobs done or saying I was pregnant. Like these kids made up so many rumors about me constantly. It's so frustrating because I literally stood up for people who were going through mental like problems or problems at home or getting bullied at school. I would literally go help people. Even these girls that are commenting saying that I bullied them. These are people I actually stood up for before. Like I literally was there for those people. And during that time, like middle school, high school, the only times I would ever, ever, ever get into a fight with like anyone is if they started it first with me. And the only thing that really made me mad was like, if like my friend, 10%, sorry, but I was saying if like my friend were to like hit on my guy, like I was with, or like actually get with them, which happened multiple times with the same people over and over and over. Okay, so I just want to address the first thing. She says she's never bullied anyone. I find that hard to believe. I think that all of us in some kind of form or way has been a bully at least once to somebody, even if we didn't know, we probably was a bully to somebody at least once. Which is why the first response a bully will say is, I've never bullied anyone. Which is like no shit because you didn't care or you weren't aware because sometimes your parents are the bullies and they bully you and then you just copy your... You copy your parents' actions to the friends around you, the people around you, and you probably don't even think it's bullying. You think it's normal. Now, she does say there's a situation where she will fight with people if they try to talk or get with her man. She says it was multiple, multiple times, so I think these are the people that she was beefing with and maybe was bullying, which almost sounds justified, but I just don't believe these are the only scenarios. I do believe there are other times. Now, one claim that was made, Sunset said the principal used to actually sit outside and just watch for Amber to make sure that she didn't get bullied. Now, if this was true, I think a principal, if they were smart or mature, they wouldn't just sit outside and wait for Amber to, to stop them. They would call Amber's mom and dad. If they, if they really thought it was an issue, I believe they would have called um, Amber's mom and dad. But they didn't. So I don't think the principal thought it was that bad or saw anything to this level or degree. So the person that posted the video... I don't know them at all. Like, I've never spoken to them. Like, maybe briefly in middle school or something because 
I don't know them. Like, I remember who I had problems with. Like, I remember. Now, if it was a brief conversation, I could get that. But she's in your phone. <laughs> you got her phone number. <laughs> did she give you the phone number or did you ask someone else to give her the phone number? And y'all, <laughs> yeah, you gonna, she gonna have to answer for this one. <laughs> Yo, TikTok snitching about who got your number, y'all. <laughs> Yo. Even in the comment section of the video, I saw one girl that I had big problems with in middle school. And you know why? It's because she went to like this hillside by the movie theater where my sister used to hang out, went out over there with her friend and tried to jump her and get her to fight when my sister's not even like that at all. Also, went around the entire school and told everyone that my little brother had autism, which no one knew because like he like uh, didn't like act like he just was had a little social issues and like he, she had the whole school calling him the ed kid ed kid ed kid had someone push him into a locker would do terrible things my whole family was getting bullied because i gained a, a platform online and these kids were getting mean to me because i had a platform then after freshman year i got homeschooled because i was having a panic attack like like once or twice a week like at school and i'd have to call my mom to come get me out of school because i'd end up in the bathroom crying for hours I'm running out of time, but anyway, I don't know this person that's posting about me. I don't know them, and I never bullied them, and I would remember if I would say something like that, and I wouldn't. I'm going to sum up that squiggle of mess that she just said. I have never bullied people in my life. Everyone is bullying me because I have clout now, because I have tits, because I'm hot. They're just jealous of me, and this is all backwards. I don't bully people. They bully me, and now they're just trying to get me canceled. They're just spreading lies for no reason. That's what I heard. But I start reading the comments. <laughs> literally. Literally. <laughs> My most abused word is no cap. I saw y'all complaining in the comments. Shut up. I'm going to keep using it. No cap. You don't know her. She's in your phone contacts. Right. Notice how she isn't replying to this, but replies to specific comments. Bro, right. She knows. She can't. She don't have an answer for that. That's why. She does not have an answer for that. I don't even know her. Well, maybe I spoke to her in middle school. Actually, you got her number, so pff, we passed that. They all show proof, and it wasn't just that video, right? There, guys, I got more to show you. Oh, my God. Yeah, everyone's saying they had proof. So all of this is happening right now, and Sunset's video hit 23 million views. This is starting to get so big that other victims are DMing Sunset about their experience and how they were victimized by Amber and her mom. How did she even get involved? So this girl right here is supposedly another victim. We're just going to call her Sock. When she was 12, she was hanging out with a group of friends that included Amber. A few of them got dared to skinny dip and Amber recorded the whole thing. And now it looks like it's on Snapchat. I just wanted people to know. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to feel like she knew what she did, you know? Because I feel like she doesn't think she, like, she doesn't think she did those things, even though, like, they're right there. <laughs> yeah, and her mom did post type CP of me and another girl and another person. Damn, y'all about to make me investigate her mom next. Because I'm telling you, when a kid is acting up, the first person I'm going to blame is the parent every time. Now, with all these victims coming out the woodwork, this is a lot of like he said, she said stuff. So I was going to leave it there. But Sunset dropped the most deadliest receipt 30 minutes ago as I was making this video. Now, listen, y'all. I don't know if this is true. I'm just showing you the receipts. Amber, I don't got time for a lawsuit. I'm just showing what is already on TikTok. Don't start with me. Okay, so there's skinny dipping. That was a dare. It was a dare. <laughs> Amber, you're, you're going to have to respond to this. 
you're going to have to respond to this. You can't ignore everyone's comments. Let's keep going because there's more. There's a lot more evidence on this Twitter thread. I'm not allowed to post it on TikTok because they keep on taking it down. And see, Sunset's not going to stop now because you're denying everything that happened. See, now she's just going to keep eating you with these with these receipts. So I head over to TikTok, y'all. Now, I have a Twitter account, but I don't really understand Twitter. But <laughs> I did understand these receipts. And oh my God, Sunset is just going to, she just, I got you guys. Come on, come on. The victim of the child pee video. Yep, that was sock, which we just, I just showed you guys the uh, receipt for that. There's a lot of people DMing Sunset about their experience with her. Amber admits to being in possession of Sock CP. Sunset says, your voice is behind the camera of CP footage. The victim scream said, stop recording over and over again. You laugh at their cries. Amber says, start at the beginning of the video of us vlogging. And Sock is the one who posted the video on YouTube. And there is no CP. We were in a hot tub underwater. But we just heard the video. They were definitely naked and you were holding the camera. So like, I do have some questions, Amber. Sunset says, babe, you just admitted to a crime. How do you know what the footage looks like? You would only know this if you were in possession of it. This is so bad. Amber's PR team is fucking screaming right now. Another victim stating Amber and her friends spread explicit content of them when they were 13. Jeez. I did manage to get this screenshot of her admitting to posting bad things about the people in the tub before she deleted it. Lamaya Fayo, I wonder why and I wonder why they went to you about the vid. Because they knew I didn't like her because I posted about how she slept with multiple of my boyfriends while being my friend. Yep, that's it, guys. So Amber will bully you if you are sleeping with her friend. So I get that. Which, or I mean, she's hurt. So she's going to just be mean to you. The mom posted this picture to her own Instagram page in 2019. The people in the picture are underage. This lines up with victims stating that Amber's mom brought minors to parties that allegedly had drugs, alcohol, illegal substances, and older men. I mean, so she's 20 right now. So if we go back like two, two three, th that's, that's roughly 17 to 18. Some of them might be, a ooh, so some of them might be 17. But she is watching them. I don't see liquor in their hands, but mm, there's a little suspect, mother. But I, I think they might be okay. But some of the claims I've heard kind of... Amber's mother does collaboration for content with her daughter? Amber and her mother makes fans only content? Together? Guys, I had to grab another phone because I cannot show you these screenshots on this video. So you gotta just listen to me talk. I'm looking at her mom's account and there's like statuses and like, you know, of course, videos. This one says, very first collaboration with my daughter, Amber Mesner. Next one, even hotter pics from my collab with my Amber Mesner. One pic, she is being bossy and tells me how to pose. You can tell she's pissed and I'm not listening. This isn't illegal, but it's cringe as fuck. A little. I'm not going to cap, guys. It's a little sus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just a little. I don't, I don't think this is right. I have a gut feeling. If someone in the comments watching this, I have a gut feeling. It just doesn't feel right. Amber posts this one on hers. Says me and my mother looking sexy. Again on Amber. Me and my mom and I looking sexy together. Five photos and a video with a devil emoji. Oh my god, this one says making out with my girlfriend, Mama Lee. Oh no, you did not make out. You did not make out with your mom. Her mom posts this. A private moment between Amber and I chatting on FaceTime in our natural state. What the fuck does that mean? Mama Lena climbing into the bathtub. Butt pic taken by Amber. This is just weird. Guys, I think I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Just, you can go to the 20th 7, go look at the... I'm done. I've seen enough from this, okay? What do y'all think about this? Guys, we just made it to 750,000 followers. I'm really a music artist, but I make these videos because I know y'all like them. So can you please follow the page for me? And outside of all this dead gang, remember, it was just you and you had a plan. You have come too far. Do not forget what you did all this work for. And I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and we not finna live it being no weak motherfucker. On dead and them, we got work to do. So pop your shit, star. If it was love, then why didn't you stay? I remember every time you told me that I was the one that couldn't be replaced. But it was so easy to throw us away. And the only way I keep my peace is thinking the universe wants it to be. I fucking love you, but not more than me. When I could die tomorrow, I cannot leave with no regrets. You acting different, I'm peeping on that. I really wanted to stay till the end. But I gotta take off these rose-colored glasses. And no one is time for me to 
walk away So I can say we wanted different things All of this effort, I'm tired of asking for it Why did you ask me to commit? I see where this is going, it's into a ditch 